Mayor Kanoi was considered a rising star in Hawaii politics before voters knew about the P-card issue. With the criminal charges now behind him, what could his political future hold? Manola Morales goes beyond the headlines. Manola? Joe, I spoke with Hawaii Pacific University professor John Hart, who tells me that Mayor Kanoi still has a good chance of being elected into office, but the whole P-card issue will probably never go away. Dr. Hart tells me that it's not that surprising that the jury reached a not guilty verdict. He says the mayor's popularity might have been too hard to overcome. Remember, this is an Oahu judge and Oahu attorneys going after a local boy that people protect their own. I really think that for most people on the Big Island, uh, uh, carelessness re with receipts, let, let us say, doesn't concern them. Dr. Hart tells me a lot still depends on how Kanoi handles himself from here on and how the public perceives it. Does he show any remorse? Uh, does he show any maturing? Or is it like Trump and he continues onward? We'll have to see which path he chooses and we'll have to see how the voters of Hawaii react to that. Dr. Hart tells me that there's no doubt that Kanoi's rise in politics has taken a stumble. He says there was talk of a possible run for the governor's office or Congress. But Dr. Hart adds that Kanoi can still pursue those seats. It will just be more difficult to convince voters that he deserves to be elected. Will this be an election issue if he runs? Yes, it is. Uh, does a Big Island jury acquitting him means he can carry the Big Island? Not necessarily, but it is certainly a good sign for him. As for the P-card issue, there's now a heightened awareness. Always investigating dug deeper into how the different counties manage their accounts, and there have been more efforts to help prevent abusing the system. Kenoy still has two months left in office as Big Island mayor. He served two terms, so he was not eligible to run again. Manola Morales, KHON, 2 News.